Now we're going to go ahead and load the roll into the GX24 machine. Uh, we have a basic roll of uh, one of our holographic foils here. What we want to do is get it on the doll side. That's the side that we're going to cut on rather than the side that has the carrier sheet. Just going to go ahead and, and slide it through here. What we want to do, generally speaking, is, is to try to make sure that it's even. And what you can do is maybe use this, this front side here, this line, as a guide. Uh, after we have the machine properly uh, set up for that, what we want to do is take these pinch rollers. Now you'll, if you look down here, you'll notice there's various white spaces here. You've got a pretty, pretty large area here. And there's a couple other ones. Um, what you need to do anytime that you're loading a roll here is to take the two pinch rollers and make sure that they're within one of these white spaces. Now you can adjust these from the front or actually you can, you can uh, bring them from the back either way that's, that's more comfortable for you. Now we have everything in place. Uh, as you see this one's within the area of the white space and it's also on the edge of the roll so it stays in place uh, while you're cutting and same over here. Just going to take the lever, lock them down. Um, now the, the roll is loaded, what we have to do is go ahead and set up the machine to start using it. Next thing we need to do is set the origin. And what the origin is, is really where we need the blade to start cutting the material. And really what we have this position, where we have this position in relation to the material is where it's going to start cutting. So what Roland did, is give us four arrow keys that we can use to position this exactly where we want it so we can set that origin, that point of starting to cut. Here we see a down arrow which is really going to move our material forward when we push it. As you see there, we have a left and a right arrow. The right arrow is going to move the blade right. The left arrow is going to move the blade left. And we have this back button right here it's actually going to take our material roll and feed it back. Now we have it exactly where we want it to start cutting. So we're going to, on the control button, push this origin key. What you want to do is push it and hold. It's going to flash for a while, and as soon as it's done flashing, we're going to let it go. Now we've told the machine that exactly where we have this blade is where we want it to start cutting. After that, what we're going to do is a test cut. How we can achieve that is just to the left of that origin button that we just explained is the button that says test. What we want to do when, now that we have our origin set is we want to push and hold that test. Now we'll go back to the control panels. We have the down arrow which is really going to move the material forward. Okay, We moved it out enough to where we can see it. I'm just going to take a weeding tool. Now, when we did the test cut, it's important to know what it actually did was it cut a circle with a square inside of it. Now, what that means is that when we take our weeding tool, we're going to have to go down, we're going to have to weed out the circle first, and the square is supposed to remain. Let's just see what happened here. Going down there, I tried to pick it. It's not coming out. The circle's not coming out. The square's not coming out. So what that means is we're going to have to make an adjustment here. Probably don't have enough blade force. Just going to hit this back arrow button. Hit the right arrow button. We're going to move over so we know where we started this time. And hit the origin button again. Hold it until it stops flashing. Now we've told it where we want it to cut. From this point, I'm going to make an adjustment. Like we said, it didn't cut all the way through, so I'm going to use a force button right here. Hold that in. All you need to do when you do this force is hit that button like we did. We're going to hit the right arrow button to activate that. See here, we're at 60 grams of force. Now, for this particular material, I think that's a little light. We're going to use our up button. I'm going to try it probably at 120 grams just to see if that's going to work out for us. We're going to hit our arrow button. I'm sorry, the, the enter button. We're going to go back to menu. Now we're ready to start cutting again. And we're just going to go over this procedure again until we get it right, really. We're going to hit the test function. 
hit the down arrow so we can advance the material and see what we cut. I'll take my weeding tool here. See if I can take the uh, circle out without any problems. Okay, now we have the circle that we took out, the square that was inside of it. Seems like everything came up okay. Uh, the only the only problem that we had was the square kind of attached itself. Um, not sure if that's really going to be a problem. The other thing that we want to see down here in the mylar is we see a subtle impression of the square. Now from this point we can we can kind of uh, analyze this and, and make sure everything's working out properly. We did get a very clean cut. Uh, we did get a subtle impression of the square. So it seems like the blade's cutting fine. It seems like the settings are probably dead on. Uh, it seems like at this point we're going to ready to to go ahead and cut our jaw. I just want to take a minute now to clarify something. When we did our test cut, uh, I, I went ahead and took my weeding tool and, and tried to pick this up. What was supposed to happen was we were supposed to take the circle first. That was supposed to come out with a clean cut, as it did. And then the square, secondly, that was supposed to come up separately and with a clean cut. And then what we were supposed to do is look on the mylar, get a subtle impression of the square. Three things that are supposed to happen in any test cut. Now as you notice, when I picked this up, it kind of, the square and the circle both came together with one pick. Generally speaking, that's not supposed to happen. Really, I just want to clarify for everybody that what I think happened, being that everything looks so clean around here, is that when I took the weeding tool, I actually hooked the square and the circle together. So they came up as one. Just to ensure that we're going to be accurate with the, uh, the force and, and, and everything, we're going to go ahead and do another test cut. And it won't hurt to see how we do it again. It's a pretty important process. We're going to go back to the control panel. We want to use our arrow keys. First, I'm going to move the material forward a little bit. Okay. You can see where we did our last test cuts. So we want to avoid that area. Just going to hit our back button. Get our blade up there. And hit our right arrow button. To move past that. Seems like we're past that enough. That's where I want to start cutting. So I'm going to go back to the origin button. I'm going to go ahead and press this and hold it until it stops blinking. It's blinking. Now it stopped. Okay, everything's good there. That's where the origin is going to be, and that's where it's going to start cutting for us. We go back to our test function on the control board. Hit test. Hold it down. All right, everything's done there. We're just going to hit the down arrow, move our material out, and see what we have. <clears throat> just take our uh, weeding tool here. We'll try to lift this uh, circle up this time without the square coming up for us. Looks like that came up cleanly. Everything looks good with the cut. 